go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 50, and this is the second war of the season. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Sia Sanka. I don't know if I said something bad. Apologies if I did. All right, let's see who did they ban. Okay, so they've banned uh, Sunspot, Domino, and Spider-Punk. Okay, Kushala is globally banned, and Iceman is banned immune. So let's go ahead and see what they got planned for me. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So let's see. Corvus can do that fight. He could probably do this next fight, too, to be honest. I don't believe uh, Hulkling gets armor ups, right? So he won't really benefit from that node. And, of course, we've got Absorbing Man, who also doesn't benefit from that node. And then Gore. Huh. This is an interesting set. And then we've got Gladiator over on my favorite node and Spider-Man. I am very confused at their choices of defenders. Huh. He's not even awakened. I don't get it. I mean, anybody with a Venom Hold on. Uh-huh. When you trigger a buff, but you have a seven second, so Venom would have a lot of buffs. Hmm. So I guess that might be a trap for Venom. But the fact that he's not awakened means you just need to come in there with a um, clarity or deal with that. Okay, yeah. So, not Venom. So, obviously, I'm going to bring Corvus. <clears throat> See, he won't get but one charge. I think I'm going to bring in... Also... Um, I might bring in Wiccan. Wiccan um, should be good against Vor, uh, Gore. Yeah. I'll have to check that out, but yeah. I might bring in Wiccan, Corvus, and um, maybe Scorpion for this... Um, Abs, man. And let's see. And Gladiator, I could take. Um, and Spider-Man, I could take. Hmm. Let me see. Which one is this? Incinerate Poison. Shock and Bleed. Could probably take that mojo too and this red skull incinerate and shock okay no well he probably could but i'm sure someone has a better option for him so gladiator i wonder if wiccan can do that gladiator as well 
Huh. Okay. Yeah. We'll bring Wiccan, Corvus, and Scorpion. And worst case, you know, if I find out later that uh, Wiccan isn't a good option, Corvus can do these fights. But I'm going to check with... Um, Check with them and see if uh, Wiccan or Corvus would be better for that gladiator. And this Spider-Man, Corvus can do, but so can um, Scorpion. I mean, I don't see a, with him not being awakened, I don't see a big issue with him there. So, all right. Let's get to the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with Corvus, Scorpion, and Black Widow Claire Voyant. I believe this team can handle all of my fights. Now, I signed up for two mini fights, but I only got to do one of them. So, so far, and in, uh, in the Alliance, things have been going pretty well. I like it. Uh, it looks like this particular week, we didn't have a war planner because I was told that that's how they do things. A war planner plans out all the fights, but we didn't have it. So they just passed around a signup sheet and not everybody looked at the signup sheet. Anyway, this first fight is against infamous Iron Man. He has an armor up, so he's a good option for this node. However, I have Corvus. So as long as I can break his armor, and look at this, he auto-blocked. That's what I wanted him to do. Ugh, yeah. So now I just got that charge, right? And I'll get another charge because he's tech. Of course, I didn't bring Proxima Midnight, but that's fine because I didn't really need her. Um, yep, got clipped. It happens. I was feeling great about that auto block and uh, he caught me slipping, but that's fine because Corvus doesn't take any damage from the shot. So not too bad. We didn't lose that much health. Now this next fight is against Hulkling. Hulkling is a very annoying defender but on this node he doesn't get any armor up so he doesn't benefit from this particular node but claire is a great option for him because she nullifies everything look at this she's just nullifying everything look at this this is yeah he's trying to heal he's trying to do everything nope she's just nullifying look at that he got his indestructible she done smacked that away i mean what what, what, what he gonna do now she done gave him a buff immunity. Got back up. Ooh, look at that. Back-to-back -back special twos. Anybody that don't think Claire is good probably hasn't played her or is doing it wrong. Just saying. But my Claire rocks, okay? She is definitely one of my favorite Mystic Champions. Uh, I do not have Kushala. I hear a lot of people talking about how good she is and all of that. But I don't have her. Okay. Anyway, on to Section 2. And we're going to be fighting Absman. Now, again, this placement does not make use of the node because Absman doesn't get any armor ups. So I'm not having to worry about bleed. So I can just bring in a good counter for Absman. And Scorpion is a very good counter for Absman. I'm not going to even uh, use any of his pre-fights. His default is just fine. And as you're going to see, he dominates. Scorpion is awesome. Okay, so look at that. Just poisoning him up. Poison him up. Now, if he fires a special, he's going to take damage. Come on. Throw you special. Look at that. Bam. Did you see that chunk of health? And then I hit, I countered his he, his uh, special one with a heavy and got rid of um, his uh, form. And then here we go. 
Boom. Look at this. He got 12%. He can't do nothing right now. If he tries to do a special, he's dead. Do it. I dare you. Go ahead. I dare you. Do it. I dare you. Uh, he did it. So, Scorpion is just nasty. Nasty. And against Abs Man, I usually, if I can, if I see an Abs Man in Battlegrounds and I have Scorpion, that's who I use. Okay? Now, this fight is against Gore. Guess who's a great Gore counter? My girl Claire. She does the same thing. Take away all his buffs. He can't do nothing. Look at this. Come on. Snatch all that. Snatch all that. Look at it. Look at him. But look at the nullifies. Look at the nullifies. Now, she didn't nullify right there because she doesn't have any of her charges. So we got to get some more uh, charges if we want the nullification or get to the special two and make him buff him you. Okay, so I'm just baiting out his special one because I still can't evade his special two. Okay, so here we go. Bam. And look at that. Back to a special already so i want to bait this out i don't want him to push me to a special three just bait it out and now i want to intercept with my special how you doing there you go bam and done just done love it claire it's my girl so again gore doesn't benefit from that node, so I was able to just bring in a good counter for him. Okay? Now, I was supposed to fight Spider-Man and then Gladiator on the other island. But, as you see here, I didn't have enough energy to get to that other Gladiator. And while I was getting my energy back, somebody else went and took that Gladiator. So, we only have this fight uh to do and i also almost got a boss fight but again i missed it and uh someone else took that boss the boss was onslaught i got corvus you guys have seen what i can do to onslaught with my corvus on that boss node it ain't even fun for onslaught all right anyway so you see here i'm doing very you know medium mediums there we go. You see how he did that? And I actually evaded that. Usually when I do that, I get hit. Okay? So if every time he fires his special, he's going to take some damage. Okay? There we go. And done. I'm, I was waiting for a surprise with him on that node. Something that I didn't see or anticipate. But no, it went exactly the way that it looked. Not a good defender for that node. Just, just not. All right. That is going to do it for this portion of the war. And we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. I was actually a little worried about this war. Uh, it looked like all the way down to the wire, we still had champions up. And then I watched um, one of the battle groups fighting the boss. And they did manage to get one attack bonus. But it was right down to the wire. And I was wondering if we were going to down that boss. So it looks like we need to have folks, you know, speed up a little bit. But they got the job done in the end. Okay. Now, we got full exploration. Look at their defender diversity. I think a lot of people have not realized that defender diversity is way more important than it used to be. It used to be that you could um, double up on some champions, and if they were really difficult champions, then that meant that the opponent might have a harder time, lose some attack bonus. But what Kabam did was they raised the number of points so that it's not worth it anymore, okay? So look at the defender kills, okay? A lot of their kills didn't count. Look at their attack bonus. 
they beat us bad on the attack bonus. And I was thinking, oh, man, we, we don't have this. But that diversity, we beat them on diversity. But I don't mind if they keep doing that. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What did you think about the fighting? And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.